Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangi, and I am currently sitting at my kitchen table going through all of my seeds. If you can see, whoops, here we are. I've got all my seeds. It's not even all of them. I got some spread out right here. And looking at the maturity date of some of these. So what I'm doing is I am planning my fall garden. I put a post on my Facebook page to see what is everybody growing in their fall garden. And what everybody's growing is exactly what I'm gonna be growing too. So um, what I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna go outside. I have some plants that need to be pulled out because they're done. We came back from Michigan and um, my Wisconsin SMR pickling cucumber vines have powdery mildew. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those up. And yeah, so I'm just going through trying to decide what I'm going to plant in my fall garden. So there's gonna be beans, lettuce, cabbage, beets, turnips, radishes, carrots, kale. I'm gonna to try to grow the um, zucchini squash. Some of the dates that are on there, I'm thinking it might be if you start your plants indoors uh, because some of them it doesn't really specify that. So I'm just going to give it a shot. Um, our last, uh, our first frost date uh, in our zone, which we're uh, zone 6B, is October 21st. And so that gives me 84 days to plant and harvest these vegetables. So I'm going to plant more Roma um, green beans. I'm also going to try some runner beans, hopefully if I can make space for them. Um, I've got uh, this butternut squash, it says, um, 20 to 50 days maturity and I'm pretty sure that means if I start them indoors but like I said I'm gonna go ahead and plant them and hope for the best so um, yeah and then I also found this super early um, I think you pronounce it Pusa Megna cauliflower this is a variety from um, Baker Creek heirloom seeds I think this is a variety that Jess sent to me or it may be one that my friend Brittany sent me I'm not sure um, but this says that it's mature in 35 to 45 days. Again, assuming that's probably if you started indoors, but even still, I should have plenty of time with 84 days to our first frost date. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna pull up some stuff and uh, make room for the fall garden. Okay guys, we're out of the Victory Garden and I hope you can hear me. The wind is blowing, the air conditioner just kicked on and Jack is over there mowing. So we'll try to get through this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you each bed. Um, if you remember, we, are, we uh, implemented the autopilot garden and I'm just gonna kind of show you where everything is at and what I plan on doing next. Okay, so we'll start here in this front bed. This is where I had carrots, cabbage, and onions planted. Of course, I also have my big marigolds. I have some zinnias. I also have my one lone strawberry plant back there that is doing amazing. So we already harvested the onions, the cabbage, and the carrots, and I have a blank slate pretty much. I'm gonna leave the flowers in for now. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to amend the soil here and um, I need to decide what I'm going to be planting in this bed. In the spring, we had radishes, peas, um, lettuces, and rainbow Swiss chard. Now we have Roma green beans that I planted about four weeks ago. We have some national pickling cucumbers planted here on the trellis where the peas were. And then down here at the end, I have bell peppers and okra and these are gonna stay because they're gonna they're gonna do well for me a little bit longer but I do have a little space right here that I need to um, decide what I'm gonna do with here in the middle I had a three sisters garden I still have my sunflowers right here are some uh, sweet corn that I had planted and I had also planted some squash and zucchini in this bed now the squash and zucchini is done and I had also planted some yard long runner beans right here next to the sunflowers. But what happened was that since my squash plants were already big when I planted the, um, the yard long beans, they did not get enough sun to grow or to get any height on them. Their uh, growth is stunted. It already has some pods, but nothing happened with them. So, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull these up and I'm going to plant some more 
yard long beans and hopefully they will actually have a chance to mature and grow up the stalks of the sunflowers. Down here is the sweet corn that I had planted as tasseled, but these plants are only about three feet tall. It was because the uh, squash plants shaded them out and they just didn't get enough sunlight to grow. So I'm gonna pull those up. And then down here, I'm thinking I'm either going to do another summer squash or I'm gonna do a winter squash. I'll let you know what I decide. Here in this bed, we had Wisconsin SMR pickling cucumbers. I still, I see I have some cucumbers to harvest, but this plant is pretty much uh, finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up. When we got back from Michigan, I saw that we had some powdery mildew. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up and amend the soil. And I did have some bush beans planted uh, in this bed earlier this summer. Um, and again, not exactly sure what I'm gonna put here, but I'll let you know when I find out. Here are the last two beds. This is where, this front bed, I have tomatoes, collard greens, and peppers planted. Now, my tomatoes, they're getting to the end. Um, I did not take very good care of them, so they did not yield as much as they could have, um, and that's okay. Uh, lesson learned. And then my collard greens here, bugs have just done a number on them. I have not harvested any collard greens at all this year. So all of this is gonna get pulled up and composted. Um, I'm gonna leave the peppers because the peppers are doing really well. Also, some of the, um, some of the onions that I've planted are looking really nice. Well, look at this. We have obviously left this pepper on a little too long. But it looks like it just needs to be cleaned up. I definitely see some grass and some weeds that need to be pulled up. And then back here, this back tomato bed, it looks horrendous. Um, a lot of my uh, tomato plants are just about dead. And there's t just a ton of weeds. And some of the tomatoes have gotten sun scorched. I have a lot of work to do in this bed, getting it all cleaned up, getting the soil amended, and uh, planting something else. Okay friends, it's actually the next day. Um, I went ahead and quit yesterday because it was really hot. It's really hot again today, so I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can. Um, but let me show you what I did really quick yesterday. So yesterday I went ahead and took down all the old cucumber vines um, and got all the old jute string down. So this bed is now ready for a second planting of something. Uh, this bed, the one that had the sunflowers, I've got it all cleaned out. I pulled up the uh, all the runner beans and I pulled up the stunted corn. And uh, so these two are ready to go. This one's ready for a new planting. And so now today I'm gonna try to clean up the tomato hey beds. Guys. Okay, so it's been roughly uh, about 10 minutes later. And I just wanna show you that I'm pretty much done cleaning out this bed. This is one of the beauties of, um, of the autopilot garden, which we're gonna do an autopilot garden review uh, closer toward the en end of the season, just to kind of let you guys know how it's been going. Um, but it's so, one of, the, one of the awesome parts of it is it's just so easy to pull the weeds out. You're not fighting, you don't have to use a hoe. I wanted to kind of point that out. So I've got the weeds out, the grass, I've got a couple that I've missed, I see. But um, I got all the collard greens out and I really wish I had some chickens because there are so many little worms just all in that bed, both white caterpillars and green worms. So if I had a chicken, it would be in there right now having a feast. Um, so I'm gonna finish, I see that a couple of more weeds I need to pull. I'm probably gonna go ahead and start on this bed. I'll time it. It's pretty gnarly in this bed. There's a lot of grass and a lot of weeds. So I'm gonna come through there. I'll time it and let you know. Remember this is an eight by four bed. So we'll see how long it takes me to clean this one out. All right, you guys, the humidity out here is horrible. So I'm like dripping in sweat, but I timed myself. And so it took me about 20 minutes to clean out this bed by hand, no tools. This is all that I got. But the point that I'm trying to make is that because of the way, um, because of the way this is set up, um, weeds are really easy to pull out. Um, and the reason why I had so many weeds in this bed is because I didn't do intensive planting. As you can see, there's a lot of open space. So the weeds didn't have anything to shade it out. 
So that was operator error. Proper autopilot technique is uh, intensive gardening, um, which is what I've done over there in that bed. That bed I've barely touched at all. Okay, so I've had my break. I've gotten cooled off, got some lunch. Uh, you can see I now have some cloud coverage. Um, so I posted in our Freedom Homestead Friends the question about the worms and the caterpillars and if DE would take care of that. And Luke uh, in my gardener said it will not because they don't have an exoskeleton. So um, this, he said to get some B BT. And so um, I don't have any of that. So I'm just gonna leave this part uh, un un untended at the moment and just concentrate on my other bed. I'm losing some battery, but I have cleaned this up. I have pulled up some of the dead tomato plants and then uh, pruned the ones that are still living and I've got them tied up. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll get a little bit more production out of these before they're done. They definitely look a lot better. Um, and I keep getting notifications that there is heavy rain headed this way. So I'm gonna try to get some more work done. I keep stopping to uh, get some water to go in and cool off, but this looks so much better already. Now I'm going to work on this side. So after I got in there and cleaned everything up, I realized that the tomato plants were just a little too far gone. Um, what tomatoes were on the plants, I went ahead and took off. So I have a nice little pile right here of ones that I can let ripen uh, on the counter. But yeah, uh, what the foliage that wasn't dead, there wasn't hardly any blossoms. So I just went ahead and pulled them all up. So now I have a clean bed. I'm gonna go back in, cool off some more, get something cold to drink, take these tomatoes in and do some research to see what I can plant in behind tomatoes. It's actually a couple of days later. Yesterday was just too busy and I was not able to get out in the garden. All I have left to do as far as cleanup is finish pulling up the tea bars and uh, I'm going to put down some, uh, some trifecta and then I'm ready to plant for the fall. So let's get started. I got the tea post out and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the uh, trifecta plus from the MI Gardener store and uh, I'm just gonna sprinkle it through the beds then use the rake to kind of help loosen up the soil. Um, so what I've decided to do over in this bed, I'm gonna do uh, some root veggies. Um, I'm probably gonna do the carrots and the Egyptian walking onions in this, bed, in this bed back here. It's starting to get a little warm out here, but I wanted to tell you what I've planted in the bed. So over here to the far left, I planted carrots. I just have one big block of carrots. In the center, I did a block of the walking Egyptian onions. Uh, these are perennials. They will come back, um, and I'll talk more about those uh, probably in a different video. Um, but I planted those close to the carrots because onions help to keep white flies away from the carrots. And then over here at this end, I did a block of turnips. And I will probably do more turnips, hopefully somewhere else in the garden. This bed had um, the Wisconsin SMR cucumbers and uh, the Blue Lake bush beans. Okay, so I thought I was filming and I wasn't. So what I'm doing uh, in this bed, I've decided I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole bed in green beans, some Roma, green beans. Um, so I'm just taking my rake, I'm making trenches, I'm gonna sprinkle in some trifecta, plant my beans. Okay, 
Okay, so I've got this bed planted. I got in six rows of Roma bush beans. Uh, I spaced my seeds about every three inches, I guess, 18, 19, so about 192 seeds. Hopefully all of them will come up, we'll see. So yeah, this is gonna be my green bean, actually less than, because I've had to stop right here. Um, so yeah, maybe 180, maybe 180 seeds. So very excited, hopefully, hopefully they'll do well for me. Okay, I think I've got all the planting done that I'm gonna get done today. The rest of it's gonna have to wait until next weekend. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> so let me show you really quick okay, what so I over did. Over here where I had all of those collard greens, I haven't planted anything there yet. Over here, this is where I had basil, uh, I had cilantro, and I had tomato plants. Now all of this uh, down here, like I said, is a block of carrots. I'm hoping to have fresh carrots through the winter. Um, then I have a block right here of the Egyptian walking onions. And then down here I have a block of turnips, which will give us greens and it will also give us a root veggie. Then over here, this is where I had the Blue Lake bush beans and the Wisconsin SMR cucumbers. And now it's a whole bed of um, Roma green beans. Here is where I had squash and I have not planted anything there yet. Then down here, this is where I had carrots. And now I have four zucchini plants uh, planted. I still have my beautiful uh, strawberry plant that's right here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I'm thinking some radishes and lettuce will go here once my zinnias are done. And then of course this plant, I, this bed I've not done anything to. Um, I've got space right here possibly for radishes, but I'm gonna wait until it gets a little bit cooler. Uh, here I have Roma green beans. I've got national pickling cucumbers, which I see some cucumbers that are ready to harvest. And of course my okra and peppers. I didn't plant enough okra to have any to put up. So um, yeah, lesson learned. I really need a whole bed of okra, which is what I'm gonna do next year. And I need to have at least eight bell peppers to have enough for winter. Um, eight bell pepper plants. Uh, so anyway, so that is what's going on in the Victory Garden. We got most of our fall planting done. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time.